Susie and I are great friends and we cook together for PESA. She is a graduate of the Culinary Institute of America. She has cooked at Michelin star restaurants. She has an incredible journey and she has now found herself in the Kosher Kitchen right here also on kosher.com. You've had a beautiful uh, training and across Europe yes. and you've had a journey to become religious and orthodox. And Absolutely. Strictly kosher, was that a really hard transition to get from Michelin star into the kosher kitchen? So I quite frankly didn't think that after I became religious that I could in, go into cooking again. Um, but once I got married and actually once I moved to Long Island, I realized that I had to get back into it because it's my passion. I love what I do and uh, it's just making people happy is my pleasure. And, and cooking is, you're an incredible chef. Thank like, you. I love, I love working with you when we spend months cooking for Pesach and preparing for Pesach and then we spend the rest of the year just cooking up fun things and, and pizzas, what we're going to do today. And Sometimes I'll just show up at your house with a pizza. <laughs> yeah, she's, she makes amazing pizza after a lot of time in Europe. So uh, should we get cooking? Sure. We're going to make something special for? Mother's Day. Okay, fantastic. So what I like to do with um, some of the things, there's so many different ways to make pizza, but in my mind, like for Mother's Day, you do a brunch. Yeah. So um, I thought of a pizza that I've made for myself quite a few times, and everybody loves avocado, so I made a huevos ranchero pizza. Can you say, say that again? Huevos rancheros? Huevos rancheros. Did I say it right? Yeah. Huevo, it's very hard. Huevos rancheros. It's very hard with my Australian accent. Why don't we translate that into English? It's basically just a Mexican shashuka. Ooh, on a pizza. On a pizza. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> You had me at that. Okay, I cannot wait to eat this on set. Okay. So the what first you thing you do with? is you start with your pizza dough. Now, and if, this can you buy, is that ready so you, made? Or? So you can buy ready made. And so if I bought this ready made, it would usually come in a one pound um, ball. So what I've done is I like to make individual personalized pizzas. I cut the ball in half and this is an eight ounce pizza. Does that so make sense? So it's smaller, a smaller yeah. pizza and then it cooks nicer in the oven and you can manage it better in the oven. So we're doing it on in the oven today um, on a uh, pizza stone. Okay. What I would do at what home is, yeah. is I do it in my private oven outside on yes, the porch. Of course you have an outdoor pizza oven. But what 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 is, well, you know, maybe we'll talk about it in a minute, but yeah. um, what exactly is a pizza stone? A pizza stone is just like a, a brick, in a sense, that and cooks what does the it pizza. Do? It, it, it helps cook the pizza from the bottom and make it crispy so that you don't have a raw pizza dough on the bottom and cooked on the top. So it basically cooks it from the bottom up. Okay, so that's how you get that like, nice, nice crispiness crispy. on the bottom. So we're starting with our pizza dough, so and I've let it, I've, I've actually just managed to work it into a round. And the most important thing is that you want to make sure you have an edge. Look at okay? her do that. And so wow. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not actually picking the dough up off the, off She's the board. She's professional. Okay? Do not try this at home. Yes, try it at home. But so if you, if you want... can see, look, oh, sorry. Okay, watch this. You can see that once you start working the dough, it's very fast. <laughs> okay. And then you're just going to. Oh. Oh, now okay. she's showing off. Woo! Okay, and then it's important before I put it, before I Can put I my that? pizza. Yeah, you want to feel so it? soft. Um, and this is a bought dough from the store. Yes, in the refrigerator section. Yes. Okay, and you always want to make sure that the dough comes through temperature before you start. Absolutely. Manipulating it. Actually, or tossing it in the air. If you cut it cold because you want to shape the dough back before you let it come to room temperature. So you cut it first yes. while it's cold and then you let it come you to room temperature. You shape it first into a round. It's very important to get the shape before it gets warm. Okay, you heard that everyone? Okay, okay and if you want to make your own pizza, there's a really great recipe in Perfect Flavors, my cookbook that has a really easy recipe to it's make a great your recipe. own dough. Great recipe. So we're going to start with some cornmeal, okay? And we're going to, once the dough is already ready, as everybody saw it was Why ready. Why did you put cornmeal? So and that it can slide. This? this is a pizza peel. A pizza peel. Or a paddle or whatever. A paddle. Okay. It looks like a paddle, but they call this a pizza peel. And you can see that it's all even. And, and why did you put this on it? So that it doesn't stick, so it can slide off. 
into okay. the oven onto the stone. Once you put a topping on, it's not going to slide as well. Okay. Okay. Amazing. So we start with it a little bit underneath. I'm going to start with this gorgeous garlic confit oil that I made. Okay. The recipes. Yep. In the the notes are in the recipe. Okay. And we're going to brush the pizza so that it starts with a beautiful base in the and you taste. You can just keep this garlic flavored oil in your refrigerator. refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Bring it to room temperature. You can add it to salad dressings or into a marinade. 100%. Okay. So what we have is we have a refried bean. You can use kidney or pinto. Okay. okay. And we have a spicy um, pinto bean here that's in sauce. Does this already come? Yes. Mash like, mm -hmm. like that? Yes. And bite in a can? Yes. You can make your own, but we're here like, I mean, it's brunch. We're we making make our own pizza. Let's cheat and use the refried beans already. No, it's in the better can. That, because they're already made for you. So you're not like, it's a lot of time to make a lot of the ingredients. If you want to, sure, you just puree it up. You could even puree these this um, spicy beans too, because the sauce is delicious. Is it very spicy? Oh, a little yeah, spicy. it's a little. So I need a little spicy. You can add as much heat as you want, I guess. So the two of them together, mm. we're going to mix it and we're going to add. We're just mashing it up, and this is going to be our base, okay? And I'm going to add a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Ooh. You can add cheddar cheese, you can add whatever kind of cheese you want, and a little bit of garlic powder, a dash. It's just, okay, so this is our base. Mm. Mash it this up is, a little this bit. This would be like the equivalent of the tomato base. Tomato base or, or a white pizza. It's tomato on kosher.com on sunny side up. <laughs> so you see you have it, and the, and the, uh, Sauce in the beans gives it a little bit of um, looseness. I, this looks amazing. I think this is like would great for brunch and malava malka. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna just kind of like make it like dinner. that. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, breakfast think, for dinner. Move that a little bit, and then you just, I mean, sometimes I might use my hands because everything comes from your fingers. <laughs> all the pressure, all the love. See, you just get it about a little bit. You want an edge. That's called an edge. It already smells good. <laughs> Those beans right. smell good. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, now we're going to build our pizza. Okay. Started from the bottom up. We are going to do eight slices. That is a gorgeous avocado. I'm just saying, guys. I don't like when there's any black on the no, avocado. No, we mm. don't have any black on it. Eight slices. So it, every slice would be a slice of the pizza. Then we have a little bit of jalapenos. And we have a little bit of red onion. I love red onion on my pizza. It gives a color too. Susie, what's your favorite topping on any pizza? Your favorite, if you had to pick one thing. I would just say tomato basil. You know what I love? It's very Australian. You ready for this? Pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Australian to put pineapple on your pizza. Very, I like pineapple too. So we're going to season it. Salt and pepper. Avocados yeah, don't That's have a good pepper. amount. That's a good amount. And a little bit of salt. I'm gonna let Susie do all the seasonings. <laughs> okay, now watch, let's see. See how it's still moving? Yeah, that's what you want. And we're gonna walk it over to the pizza all right, oven. we're gonna walk in? All right, we're going on a walk. Let's go. And this oven actually has a stone. Can you see the stone inside? In the bottom. Amazing. Susie, do you preheat the pizza stone? Does it go in hot, like, or cold? Okay, so it's very, that's a great question. Because the pizza stones, if you put them in the oven, when the oven is hot, they will crack. So you have to start the pizza, the, the stone in the oven cold, and then start the so oven. So it slowly comes to so, heat. Right, so this particular oven, which I've, is a new oven that I've worked with, um, has a beautiful stone in it, and I put it in yesterday, and, and now I, I tested it, and it's very nice. I mean, it's a little bit different and harder than a, a stone that you buy in the store. But most home cooks are gonna use those the round, round stones. ceramic yes. stones. Yes, so you start with it cold, and you bring it up to 450 degrees. Okay, fantastic. I was always doing my pizza stones wrong. I knew I had to have a pizza stone for good pizza. And you never wash it, you just wipe them. Right, so now I know how to, and you can also do vegetables on a pizza stone. Also Absolutely. It's delicious. Uh, but now I know how to kind of, uh, get, it's all about like sliding it on with a, with a pizza peel and using the cornmeal. These are really good tricks because I'm literally learning it with my audience right now, so. Thank it you. takes a lot too. You saw how much I put on, right? You saw that I use a lot of cornmeal so that it'll slide off. That's a lot? 
I, I mean, I would say some people might not use a lot. So they might think just a little bit is enough. You want to use a decent amount of corn meal to, to help with the sliding mm -hmm. off. Okay, great. We've got a hot pan. What goes in next? We're going to do two eggs in that pan and we're going to do them sunny side up. Because we're on sunny side up. <laughs> and we're going to season them right away. Is it going to smile at me, the egg? <laughs> It's and winking at me, it's winking at me. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Always with the salt and pepper. 100%. So while that's cooking, we're going to get our next pizza ready. We're going to do two pizzas. It's a two for, it's a BOGO. <laughs> so like again. Buy one, get one. Your pizza dough is nice and at room temperature. Okay, I'm gonna, can I do this? Uh -huh. Should I try you flipping it? You have to make it? the edge though. Can I try flipping this? You sure can. I can? All right, should we do this? Like this? You can. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I think I'll leave that to Susie. How about that? But you made it bigger for me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I did something. I did something. <laughs> I actually, when I was in Italy, I, I was having some lessons. <laughs> I need some more lessons. So you always want to not push the edge too much because you want to give it that edge. See how, look, like you make when your pecan tarts for Pesach. You know how you make that edge? <laughs> yeah. It's perfect. So it's very important, the edge on your pizza. Okay, so there's, like an, it, there's like an indentation, mm -hmm. so there's a bit of a lip in. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's where you get your crust. Okay, we'll just do that quickly. You did it so much better than me. <laughs> okay. Get it on okay. here, we'll get it. Okay, and then we're just gonna do again, garlic oil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this time. Perfect. You tell me what to do. Okay. All over, to all the way to the edge? Yep, perfect. Okay. Not too far to the, I mean, right at the edge, exactly. Okay, great. Because it'll stick if that's a trick. If you put it too far to the edge, it's going to stick underneath your dough. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Then you're going to do um, artichokes. Artichokes. These oh. artichokes, what I've done Scattered. is, uh -huh, I've sauteed them. They're in the recipe with garlic. Are these fresh or from a can? These are from a can. That's definitely much easier to use canned artichokes. And then you're gonna just um, put some purple potato on top of that. Purple potato, are these in season all year? Yep. So at your local supermarket. They have a little bit of a less um, water content to them. And these are them. very thinly sliced. You I did sliced this with a mandolin. Them. I did. Carefully. Guys, that is a great tool to have. Then you're gonna season it with salt and pepper, a little Parmesan cheese. Good, did I do enough salt? Yep. Just wanna look. I'm like one of those people who really likes to learn, watch one and then do one. Awesome. Okay. Okay, you can do some too. <laughs> what you can also do too is, is just take a little bit of fresh herbs if you want. And that's some thyme. And we're going to put parsley on after it's done. Okay. And then this is a shaved Parmesan. Oh, amazing. <laughs> and then it's going right in the oven. Just like Look. that? Well, okay. this is what I also like to do. I'm sorry. You want to make it round before it goes in the oven. You give it a little pull. Okay. Like Did you see that? You just go like this. Lightly. Do you saw that? Yeah. And then you make sure it's slideable. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Make sure you don't drop it on the floor. Okay. Our egg is ready. We're going to walk this over. Fabulous. Woo! I did it! And that one looks amazing. And we're ready to pull that one out. Okay. Put our egg on top. So the other one's in the oven. Yep. We've taken this out. This looks stunning. Those green color of the avocado is like popping out. I don't know. Something about the oven makes it go brighter. Don't you agree? It's stunning. Oh my, it's like a piece of artwork. <laughs> so then you're going to take your oil, I'm delicious brush it oil, again. and it gives the Susie glistening. I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> and then, okay, we're going to take our egg. Oh, that and, is... Oh, and it's already runny a little bit. Oh, Look at that. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, we're putting on some. What's this? Salsa. Salsa. Any any jar of salsa will yeah. do? Yeah. Or you can make your own. That looks amazing. I'm so excited to eat this. Oh, my God. Okay, you cut it up because okay. I'll totally botch that. Is there a, is there a trick to oh. cutting pizza? Do you hear that? Oh, that is amazing sound. <laughs> Again, let's everyone turn the volume up. Let's listen. That's because of the pizza stone, right? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm totally going to go home and buy a new one because I wrecked my other one. <laughs> is that crazy? Yeah. Oh, my God. Our whole camera's crew and everyone on set is like drooling. Ah, oh, through the yolk. 
So I want, I want, I want this one. Are you gonna have that one? Yeah. I'll have this one. You have okay. That. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Brackles are made off camera. Here we go. The towel on. Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> Delicious. Look at that crust. This is amazing. That crunch at the bottom, the crisp, crispy crust. Mm. Mm. Susie, there are no words. Ooh. I might be tearing up a little. Oh Ooh. my gosh. <laughs> Thank you for mm. coming on the show today. This was delicious, it was outrageous, and it was so great to cook with you on a camera. I had so much fun. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming, and uh, recipes like this and more, go to kosher.com. Get some bloopers. Ready? Which is my camera? Okay, I can. Okay. Susie, chef, Susie. Stop. No, stop. Absolutely. Stop.